Good evening, folks. What's going on there? Earthmaster here, jumping in on this Wednesday evening, November 4th, 2020. It's a date, 8.21 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Earthquake 3D Globe shows the latest quake here on the map, 4.4. Well over here on this side of the Earth. Way different than uh, our side, obviously. Over around Iran, 4.4 magnitude quake striking there in that region, just south of there, it looks like. Um, as far as, wow, okay, that's pretty close there. Um, not for sure what's going on. I've been having some weird stuff going on lately. See that? I go to try and turn the globe and, okay, anyway, let's get off of there. I'll fix that here in just a minute, hopefully. Go over here to the uh, USGS map. Hopefully everything's working good here. I don't believe it's my computer. Maybe everything's haunted here again. There's some weird activity going on worldwide, let me tell you. Also 4.8 down there around the Easter Island area. Um, looks like that just kind of just happened there. Well, looks like a little bit before that 4.4 there. Overall, global earthquake activity fairly quiet for the most part, folks. Around the Pacific Ring of Fire. Alaska, like I said, up here is getting a little bit of activity, but not a whole lot. We'll go down to the all magnitudes here. We can see a little bit more microquakes going on there in California, Nevada area, and up through Washington and into Montana, it looks like as well. No major quakes out there. Any type of swarming to report there in, in California. Relatively quiet. Just some uh, movement there along the slippage sec section. Of the or the uh, creeping section, I should say, of the San Andreas Fault. Up here in Washington, not a whole lot of activity around Mount St. Helens uh, today, anyway. Overall, pretty quiet here, folks. I don't know if you've been paying attention to the election or not, or whatnot, but uh, man, I tell you what, I got a headache from all that stuff. I had to get out of that phase of just zooming into the TV I don't watch the TV a lot so oh man I got a huge headache from it just nothing but a headache Yellowstone National Park here looks like some major wind events coming in there's a large area of low pressure system uh, coming down from the north bringing some extreme cold air uh, pretty soon if it's not here already in that area for us here in Northern California we're looking at it arriving on Friday uh, gonna drop our temperatures pretty good and bring our rain chances back to the region, which is what I want. I'm definitely thankful for that, let me tell you. We need the rain. <clears throat> Tremor map. Let's check this out here real quick, folks. Looking at the latest Tremor activity. Quite a bit, quite a bundle, I should say, there in the Northern California region. We've seen this last night as well, or not last night, uh, uh, the other night I got caught up in the election stuff last night didn't get a chance to do an update video it was just oh it was like I was zonk, zonked in zoomed in what's the word I'm looking for here it's like I was zombified you know like like I couldn't get away from the TV it's really weird anyway 622 epicenters of trimmer out here along the Cascadia subduction zone into Washington and Northern California for the moment a little bit of activity there in northern Oregon, but uh, most part, they're in northern California. It's been a while since we've seen a pretty large cluster like that, and that's been happening here. Uh, well, in the past couple days, we've seen that kind of uptick there in northern California, but we just don't see this too often. So kind of keep an eye on that. What else we got here? Um, today in earthquake history is kind of interesting here. There's a couple quakes here large M 9.0 earthquake out in the uh, uh, looks like Kamchat Kamchat Kamchatka is that correct Russia 1952 big earthquake back there um, you can see that location there on the map one of the largest earthquakes in the world ever recorded I would say also a pretty big earthquake there in Central California 7.1 there in uh, 1927 this earthquake here was uh, most severe damage to property occurred in the areas west and north of Lompoc. Chimneys were erected around town. 
Looks like it was felt all over the place there. You can see the uh, zoom into the uh, map there and check out that specific detail of that quake that occurred back then. This was not on the San Andreas Fault. The San Andreas Fault uh, runs roughly around in this region right here. This is well west here, just kind of just offshore too. Got Santa Maria over here, a lot of folks know that. Santa Barbara, Ventura, uh, definitely shaking things up out there around the Air Force Base as well, I'm sure. Was it 6.9? 6.9 but the, here they have it at 7.1 so give or take a couple magnitudes right anyway we're out of here folks have a good night uh, please stay safe out there a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world we're definitely uh, advancing towards some uh, very interesting times that we're living in have a good night I'm going to get this uh, earthquake 3d globe here fixed now so stay safe